Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steps Basic, and welcome to the casual, comfy, cozy community show. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be cozy today. I got a kitty cat, I got a cup of coffee, and there's a lot of alliteration for some reason. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you look at my blanket, you weirdo. I wanted to talk today about a fun little topic about uh, we should let our heroes die. This is an interesting little topic I was thinking about because uh, one of my one of my big issues with a lot of Marvel, uh, modern Marvel and superhero content in general, is uh, the the inability to let our heroes die. And I know I'm probably not the first person to talk about this, and I probably won't be the last, that's for sure. But there's a tail in my face, so I'm gonna talk about it anyway. Ah, oh, sweet, what's that get under here? Weirdo. Cats are so cool. I love them. One of the things I've noticed about a lot of, a lot of the modern discourse around uh, superhero content and whatnot is, is how people are don't liking are not liking the uh, the newer generation of characters that come out and whatnot. And uh, honestly, I understand. A lot of the older characters to me were much more superior to the. Uh, current modern zeitgeist but does that make the modern ones bad no it doesn't that's kind of the problem is you know we, we, we fixate and focus on the ones that came before without allowing room for the ones that are here now the ones of the uh the more contemporary ones she like them like it and that's the problem, you see. And this has been established and, and built up through far too much... Uh, got rejected. Far too much about the problem... This has been built up far too much by the fact that death in comics doesn't matter. It's like it's just a minor setback. It's a hiccup. It's a bump in the road. And so, as such, we're always like... Oh, so the new character is just a temporary fix right now. And then, then we're gonna get like Captain America is gonna come back next week, and or, you know, in the next issue or the next uh, installment, and that is a part of the problem. You know, if we don't let our characters die, then they will continue to be the only character in that version, and we see this happen a lot with things like. Hawkeye, the show Hawkeye, where Kate Bishop is the new Hawkeye. It being a code name, it's perfectly fine to pass down to Kate Bishop. I don't know her arc in the story in, in the comic books, but I do know the show, and I absolutely loved the show, and apparently the show got cancelled. And that's disappointing, because I was waiting for a season two of that. Hi, sweetie. But maybe we'll see Kate Bishop and other things. <laughs> and that's the thing you know when it comes to these sorts of things like if I would have if they would have done this as I was growing up if they would have replaced the uh, the golden age characters with new versions or just new characters in general then I may not have ever known about Thor and all them because you know they're they're classic characters and they were written long before I was born and uh, so I may not have ever met them, but I might have had a new degree of heroes, superheroes and whatnot. But of course, you know, people keep, they die and then they come back in the next thing. And, and so it's like, now, why make room for, for the new characters when the old characters are still alive? And that, I see that as a problem. I understand it's comic book's nature to, you know, focus on what's popular and whatnot. So they're going to run a character into the ground, you know, they're gonna they're gonna use that character until people don't like him anymore, and that even in itself is also a problem. Like I, I like what 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 um Hugh Jackman said about his you know role as Wolverine. He really liked his role as Wolverine, but he wanted to quit while he was ahead. You know, quit while people still liked the character, and and people will abuse the heck out of characters until the point where people don't like them anymore and that you know defeats the purpose of the hero you know I mean, what was that what was that batman line you know some people just want to watch the world burn that's not the line i was looking for but um what was it you either die a hero or you live long enough to become the villain and that and that, and that in and of itself 
makes the problem. You don't want your heroes becoming villains. You don't want your heroes becoming disliked by the the general public, popular uh, populace, because then, well, you lose out on that money for one thing. But also, it smirches all the the the. Uh, that's my finger. Please don't attack it. It besmirches all the good stuff that's come from it, and and we saw this in in Marvel Secret War, when at the uh, when they're like Captain America standing up all proud and saying say with a full chest like Hail Hydra. I'm like, yeah, no, uh-uh. no. And I feel like this might not have been a problem so much if if throughout his series when he died they let him be dead and then they replaced him with a new character. And I actually saw. A little bit about an interesting idea um, where the comics, I haven't read them, but I saw that the comics were doing a, uh, a basically a Captain America across America sort of thing, you know, just picking random people in the world and being like, this, this person inhabits, embodies the spirit of Captain America. And as such, you know, we got some pretty interesting stories out of that about, you know, normal, everyday people. At least this is the premise I understood from it. Uh, taking up the mantle of, of Captain America and being super for a day. You know, being being that hero that people need. And I'm like, that's cool. And of course, we've had um, other iterations of it. You know, future variants of characters. The Young Justice, uh, Young Justice, the Young Avengers, etc. Um, where we look into the future and look at their children and whatnot. And I like that. But at the same time, it's still essentially that character. I think Captain America had a daughter and um Yep, that's about all I can remember from that. <laughs> so essentially the whole point of this is to talk about how we 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 should allow our our heroes to die in character in comics, in movies, etc. And yeah, it's going to sting, but remember they're just characters and at the end of the day we do want to make room for a future generation of new characters because Captain America, back when he was first introduced, was a necessary character. And as beautiful and as great as he was, he may not be what appeals to the youngins of today. You know, he may, while he's one of my favorite characters, easily top five he may not be what appeals to modern sensibilities. So, you know, we want to get characters that can bridge the gap between previous generations and the new generations, and we can't do that if we're going to constantly be bringing back and beating up the skeletons of our past. You know, here's Captain America and Iron Man and Thor. And, of course... I'm well aware of the fact that there are new characters out there. There's uh, Ironheart, and there's Kate Bishop's Hawkeye, there's Miles Morales' as Spider-Man. Um, I forgot the new kid who plays the new Hulk. Unfortunately, from what I understand, it's it's not the Hulk, but it's a new character as the Hulk. And and that's fine, you know, we got to bridge the gap. And, and nobody's going to be Bruce Banner. Nobody's going to be Tony Stark. And perhaps that's a good thing. Moving forward, you know. Changing hands, changing generations, opening it up for new fans. Fans of the old stuff can be fans of the new stuff. And in a way, when we kill off Captain America... Ooh, itchy, scratchy. And in a way, when we kill off Captain America, we don't have to look at him through another writer's eyes and we don't have to look at him as another bad guy you know another another relic of a bygone era we could just look at his glory days and be like this is what he was he was you know the boy scout he was our captain america and now we have nomad and then we have the, the Captain America's daughter. Now we have the the Shield Across America thing. We have all sorts of variants, different new characters. Uh, <laughs> that was something I didn't really like. Was a lot of people saying that Sam Wilson can't be Captain America. I mean, comic precedent notwithstanding, Captain America's a title. It works. Of course, I still have issues with people with with Thor. It's not Lady Thor. It's just Jane. Jane Foster, but with a lot of superpowers, she's epic. 
I actually like the show. Well, I had issues with Love and Thunder, but you know, she was she was actually really good in it. <laughs> she was actually one of my favorite parts of it. Thor, incidentally, was not. Thor was my least favorite part of that. <laughs> and that's another good example, though, you know. Quick little editor's note here while I was thinking about it. It's like, you know, that's another thing when it comes to, to old-style characters bringing into the news thing. Thor is a perfect example of a problem here. See, Thor has learned the same lesson. Hi, kitty. Has learned the same lesson three times. How to be a hero, how to move forward, how to be strong when he needs to be. He's learned this lesson three times in three separate movies. Give somebody else the chance to learn these lessons. And these are all his stories. And that's not even talking about his, his arc in the, the comics. This is just the three movies. And, and you know, teaching other people how the, these lessons makes more sense than teaching Thor this lesson three times. Of the original Avengers, the only people still alive are Hawkeye, Bruce Banner, obviously, and, and Thor. Everybody else is, well, Captain America might still be alive, but he's an old, old man. He ain't coming back. <laughs> so it's like the only people who are still really active in the superhero or the super faction though is Thor and he didn't die with the rest of them he didn't pass on his legacy as it were and the fact that that, like, that even made it even worse too was like they introduced Jane Foster a really fun Thor character in the movies I stress in the movies but she was a really fun superhero character in the movie and uh, then there's Thor. <laughs> it's like Jane Foster could have been a really good substitute or a good replacement for him, but now she's dead. Ah, but you know, that's just me, old fuddy duddy. What do you think? Do you think we should have uh, our old characters die so that new ones can take uh, take their place and that we can keep moving forward instead of squabbling about who's the better Captain America? Or you know, insert some sort of non-divisive statement there. I see you licking yourself over there, you weirdo. What do you think? Who's your favorite superhero character? Let me know that. Like I said many times before, my, Captain America is in my top five. It kind of shifts around a lot. Like, for the longest time, the Hulk has been my favorite character. And honestly, still love the dude. So great. Mwah. Great writing. Great story. Ah, but yeah. All right, so let's talk about announcements now that we're done with the cool topic. Let's talk about announcements. So I'm going to try to be doing the um, the live version of this show, um, but it's probably not going to be until, I don't know, maybe next week, next month. We'll see. Um, I kind of have to figure things out because I've never live streamed from OBS. Well, I did once, and I don't remember how I did it. But I got to figure some stuff out, and there might be some test streams in in between now and then. But uh, yeah, looking at that, um, finished up West of Loathing, and I'm mostly through with the uh, the DLC. Now I've recorded three episodes of it. Um, I've switched from recording an hour to recording 45 minutes, and my God, it the world that those 15 minutes make! It is oh so. So good. The editing is so much quicker. The the I, I was able to record seven episodes instead of five, and it was just so much better and uh, better from from my stress levels and everything. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's it. That's the topic. That's the announcement. And uh, of course, I just want to thank y'all again for your continued support. And uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And I'll be back to you as soon as I can. Oh, when I can, if I can, you know all the jazz. And tune in next time as we talk about another topic at another time. And until then, that was the wrong hand. That's so annoying.